Hello and welcome back to another video guys. Uh, in this video I'm working on this Peugeot uh, 308. Uh, it's a 2016. Now I'm using the King Bowling K7 and on the diagnostic it's come back with these fault codes here P208E, P20F6, P2204 knock sensor. Now if you're getting this and you've got the engine management light on and if it's in lit mode for example, um, it may not be in lit mode but you may get the um, engine warning light on. Either way, I'm going to tell you, I'll make it very basic in other words and we'll get to the bottom of it rather than going around in loops. These fault codes are all linked to one thing. It's to do with the knock sensor and they are known for leaking and that is to be found on this 1.6 diesel engine here. So, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll show you guys as to where it is. It's just there, guys. It's a bit of a tricky one. But that's your knock sensor there. It's very easy to do. I think if you jack it up, um, if you jack it up, guys, it's literally there. It's a sensor that comes off. Um, in other words, jack it up, take the under tray off, and put the new one in. When you do, you'll need to obviously uh, recode it in. So, I'll go on to here and I'll show you uh, step by step as well. On the engine section, we'll go into special functions, guys. And then you can do uh, replacement parts. And then the emission system. And then you've got the NOx sensor. This is what we would recommend once you've changed the uh, function. So, the component, sorry. Uh, it is very easy to do, like we said. Um, ignition off, which we have. I recommend, I'll put the link in for this diagnostic machine as well, uh, below, so you can guys can grab one. Um, it is a good diagnostic machine, it does a lot of things, whether you're a pro or um, basic. Um, so, ignition back on, hit OK, reinitialization successful. Obviously, if it doesn't like it, you will say no, in other words. So, after replacing it, if it doesn't like it, and this is why we were like, if you're going to buy the um, part, make sure it's OEM, please, not aftermarket. Because if it is aftermarket, it's not going to work, guys. It'll just, it probably does work, but it's just going to kick you back out after a while. Um, and it's going to trigger the fault again. The other alternative is, guys, is you can remap it. I know people that do remap and they'll clear it. That's it. No more AdBlue uh, required to top up. But that's down to you. It's going to clog the DPF up and cause other components to fail such as EGR, a DPF, it's just going to go one by one if that makes sense. So if you can do everything original, good. If not, that's your other option, guys.